Hey, hi, hello, welcome to this class to get you sweating when you've only got a little bit of time. So this is going to be a 30 minute class. It's a little bit of yoga, it's a little bit of yoga sculpt, no weights needed, no props needed. So if you're with me for this class, let's go ahead and get the playlist started in three, two, and one press play. And then begin to make your way to child's pose on your mat. So big toes touch, knees about as wide as your mat. Push the hips back towards the heels. Settle the forehead down against the earth. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go, relax. A couple of breaths in and out through the nose, letting the body settle for a moment. And begin to notice how this feels to transition from whatever you were doing before to tuning into the body and the breath on the mat. And remember to take things today at your own pace. So if you need to rest, take time to rest. And in the moments where you want to push yourself a little bit harder, do some extra reps, maybe pick up the pace a little bit, offer yourself that as well. Let's take three breaths together. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. In through the nose. Side out. Half breath in. Out through the nose. In and out through the nose. With your next inhale, rise to tabletop, stacking shoulders over the wrists. Uh, find equal weight from left to right, equal weight, hands to knees. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward, cow pose. Exhale, back to cat, round the spine, lift the navel, drop the head. Inhale, cow pose, heart forward, shoulders back, broaden the collarbones. Exhale, round. One more round, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, neutral spine, tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back to our first downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here to get comfortable in down dog, so you can pedal out the feet or bend the knees. Sway the hips a little bit from side to side, but make sure that your foundation is set so all 10 fingers spread wide. Uh, push down into the knuckles behind your fingers and then squeeze your fingertips a little bit so you're gripping through the gripping through the fingertips. Big breath in. Side out through the mouth, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, walk the feet up behind the wrists. As you reach the top, hands on the shins, stretch the heart forward into a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold to the earth. Inhale, rise to stand. Push the floor away through the feet. Reach up to the sky through the fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your belly. Inhale, reach the arms up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold. Hinging at the hips. Whole exhale to arrive at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift. Replenish the breath. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back, plank pose. In this plank pose, lift your heels up to the sky. Lift your thighs up, lift your belly up, lift your head up. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower all the way to the earth, option to drop the knees. Point your toes, spread the toes out, and then push them down so much that the kneecaps lift up. Inhale, baby cobra, peel the chest up and back. Exhale, lower to the earth. Again, baby cobra, lift the chest as the legs stay active, glutes on. Exhale, release. Final time, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the thighs, inhale, tabletop or push up to the top of a plank, you decide. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. One breath in. 
Let it go. Lifting your sitting bones high to the sky. Maybe a little bend in the knees. Inhale. Lift your heels. Lift your hips. Look forward. Exhale. Bend the knees. Step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Reach and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up, lengthen all four sides of the waist. And bow down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, plank pose. Lift everything up away from the floor. And then exhale, we take a full vinyasa. Bend the elbows back towards the side ribs. Lower head down, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the floor away through the feet and through the hands. Exhale, look to the navel. Pull the navel back to lift the hips back to downward facing dog. Big breath in. Release. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, right to chair pose, your katasana. Hips go low, reach the arms up. Now, regardless of whether your feet are close together or separate, tear the mat apart between the feet so you feel the structure of the outer hips working. Breathe in to lift the heart, reach up through the armpits, wrists, and fingertips. Exhale, draw your sitting bones back and down. One more time, reach up, look up. Exhale, sit all the way to the floor, either reaching the arms forward or hands come back behind to assist you all the way down. And then lay yourself all the way down on your back, hands come behind the head, elbows wide, breathe in. Exhale, pull the navel down, lift the head, neck, and chest up. Little baby sit-ups. Start to make the breath sharp through the mouth so that you're pushing the air out to pull the navel down and glue the low back to the floor. We're here for another eight, seven, six. Elbows stay wide. Get the bottom tips of your shoulder blades off the floor for these last four. Three, two, and one, from here, lift the head back up, elbows stay wide. Pull the knees in to stack them directly over the hips. Big breath in. Exhale, we bicycle side to side. Ooh, using that breath to turn, slight little intake of breath in the middle. Trying to lift up the bottom shoulder blade off the earth as you turn from side to side here. We're here for another eight, seven, six, five, four. You've got this for three, two, and one. Gently curl the knees into the chest, release the head. Big breath in. Let it go. Hands behind the thighs, start to rock and roll on the spine, moving forward and back. On your third or fourth rock, you'll cross the ankles, plant the palms, and step back into plank pose. Push the floor away strongly to dome the upper back. Big breath in. Exhale, mountain climbers. So pulling the knees in tight to the chest as well as you can. Uh, continuing to lift the back body up towards the sky so that there's space underneath the front body for the knees to pull in tight. Core stays contracted. We're here for another eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the hips up and back. Down dog. Big breath in. Let it go. From down dog, inhale. Lift your heels. Lift your hips. Look forward. Exhale. Bend the knees. Step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, inhale, sit to a squat. Feet hip width apart, toes turned out slightly, tear the mat apart between the feet. Hands to heart center. With the exhale, we rise to stand, squeezing the glutes together all the way to the top. Inhale, sit. Exhale, rise. That's it. The most important thing here is to keep those glutes squeezing from the bottom of the squat to the top. Last eight, keep the chest up, navel firming up into the spine as you rise. Last four, three, 
two, and one. Sit to the squat. This time we're going to change it up. As you exhale, rise to stand. Right arm reaches up as the right heel lifts off the floor. Sit to the squat. Inhale. We alternate. Tear the mat apart between the feet. Navel in. Glutes are still squeezing from the bottom of the squat to the top. We've got another eight each side. Keep breathing. The moment you stop breathing is the moment this gets harder. We're here for another four. Three. Two. Last one. Sit to the squat where you hold for eight. Seven, six, sit lower for five, four, three, two, and one. Rise to stand. Shake out the legs a little bit. We've got one more leg exercise here. So we'll start with the feet close together, about hip width, hands to heart center. Big breath in. Exhale, you'll hop the feet wide, about as wide as your mat. Hands come to heart center. And then we hop together again, feet hip width, hands to the sides. And as you land here, you're constantly landing with bent knees so that you're preparing for the next jump. Chest stays upright, navel lifting up and in to support it. We're here <laughs> for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one land with the feet wide we hold for eight seven six five four three two and one inhale rise to stand reach up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale plant the palms step back plank pose option to take a vinyasa or choose to skip it inhale broaden the heart Exhale, take it back down, dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose, stacking shoulders over the wrists. Push the floor away through the palms, dome the upper back. Feet step as wide as the mat. Squeeze your glutes, keep lifting your thighs up to the sky. We alternate shoulder taps. Now the key here is to try to keep the lower body as still as possible so you're not letting the hips turn you're not letting the belly dip you're keeping everything engaged and the only thing that's moving here is your lifted arm yeah keep it up keep breathing navel in keep lifting the belly up to the sky yeah we're here for the last eight seven six Five, four, three, two, last one right here, left side, right side, plank pose, step the feet back together, exhale, come down to the forearms, we're not quite done working these arms yet, so forearms down, push the floor away, step the feet hip width apart, swivel both heels over to the right, drop the right hip towards the floor, with the exhale, squeeze that hip back up to the sky, Heels come center, drop the heels over to the right and lower on the inhale. Exhale, lift, squeeze, center. Drop it over to the right, inhale, exhale, lift, squeeze, center, inhale over to the left. Exhale through center, over to the right. Couple rounds of these working the obliques. Keep pushing down through the forearms, keeping the upper back strong. Remember, we're not finding off forward facing dog or sphinx pose in the middle. No hip sagging. And keep those hips lifted to the same height as the shoulders. Here we go. Last four each side. Last three. Last two. Last one, big breath in, exhale, plant the palms 
Option to take a vinyasa or skip, lower slow. Inhale, broaden the heart. Exhale, take it back down, word facing dog. Breathe in through the nose and side out. From here, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot through between the palms. Tear the mat apart between the feet. Inhale, rise, slow and steady, high lunge. With the exhale, put a bend in both knees. Big breath in to reach the heart up. Jump, switch the legs for eight. Land with bent knees to prepare for the next jump. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Land with the right foot forward. If it's not forward, switch it with me. Breathe in. Exhale, power lunge. Breathe in, squeeze the left glute, lift the belly. Exhale, leave the floor for warrior three, back foot peels up. Flex your lifted foot. Squeeze the left glute to lift the left thigh a little bit higher. Navel draws up and away from the right hip crease. With the inhale, bend your standing leg, get low. Exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, get lower, get lower, get lower. And push. One more. Push, 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 push. One breath in, find length. Exhale, warrior two, back heel drops down to the earth. Open the arms wide. Take a moment to find the work in both legs. So push down through the back foot. Let the front knee drift forward in space. Arms open wide. Big breath in. Big breath out. Navel in. Inhale, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose, but the bottom arm continues to reach forward. So we're using those obliques. We turned on in forearm plank. Big breath in. Big breath out. Tear them out apart between the feet and then lengthen the sides of your waist. One more breath. Exhale, bend the front knee, drop the bottom elbow. Breathe in, open the chest to the sky. Exhale, left palm to the earth, right palm down inside of the right foot in a lizard pose position. Inhale, bend the elbows back, chaturanga arms, maybe tapping the nose to the mat. Exhale, push it away. Lower. Lift. Last one. From here, push the floor away, slide the right leg back, one leg plank, squeeze the right glute. Lower down slow. Inhale, upward facing dog, both feet land, push the floor away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's get the other side, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to right. Lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, tear the mat apart, inhale, slow rise, high lunge. Exhale, deeply bend both knees. Breathe in, take the heart up. Exhale, jump switch for eight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Land with the left foot forward. Big breath in. Exhale, power lunge. Take a breath. With the exhale, we step up into warrior three. Navel drawing into the spine. Flex your lifted foot. Squeeze the right glute to lift the leg a little bit higher. Inhale, bend your standing leg. Push the floor away, rise. Lower. Lift. Last one, inhale, lower. Lift. Inhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, open the arms. Find the work in both legs, thighs spreading in opposite directions. Inhale, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg, exhale, triangle pose, but no support. Bottom arm continues to reach forward. Push down through the back foot. Keep the hips moving back as both sides of the waist stretch forward long. Take another breath in. Exhale, bend your bottom leg, left elbow drops to the knee. Inhale, turn the chest up to the sky, bottom ribs wrapping up. Exhale, right palm down to the floor, left palm down inside of the left foot, lizard pose. Inhale, bend the elbows back. Knee to nose to the mat. Exhale, push it away. For two. For one. Push the floor away. Slip the left foot back into one leg plank. Exhale, lower down. Both feet land. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it go. 
From here, inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Step one foot to the back of the mat. And then heel toe the feet together so you're standing feet hip width apart at the center of your mat. From here, hands stay at your sides. With the inhale, we step the right leg out to the right. Toes continue to point forward. Deep end into the front knee, lift the arms. We push the floor away, come back to center. And right into the other side. Left leg out, tear the mat apart. Deeply bound arms lift. Step together. Inhale, step out. And rise. Inhale. Push. Working those inner thighs. Two more sets each side. Draw the hips back and down, core stays engaged. Last set. Last one. Beautiful, watch at the top of that, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, sit the hips down to the earth, lay yourself down on your back. Last little bit of work here for the glutes. Soles of the feet glued down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Tear them out apart between the feet. Inner thighs hug together, glutes turn on. Breathe into the belly for three. Squeeze the glutes, see if you can lift the hips a little bit higher. Last one. Breathe in, lower the hips to the earth. Exhale, squeeze and lift. We're here for seven. Glutes release and then contract to lift. Last three. Last two. Last one. Breathe in at the top. Exhale, lower all the way down. Curl the knees into the chest, big breath in. Side out. That's it, that's the work. Let's start to wind things down. So left foot comes to the earth, right ankle crosses over the knee. Flex the toes, push the right knee away from you. This might be enough if you want more. Hug the left thigh in towards the chest. You can even bend the right elbow here and push the right knee away from you. If it feels good to rock side to side, go for it. We're here for three deep breaths. Last one. Exhale, release. Right foot to the floor. Switch to the other side. Left ankle crosses. Flex the toes. Push the knee away from you. If you want more, right thigh hugs into the chest. Last breath. Gently release, both knees hug into the chest, inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, knees drop over to the right. Couple of big, big breaths into the belly. Last breath in. Exhale, pull the navel down, knees back to center. Inhale. Drop the knees to the left with the exhale. Big breath. Last time. Let it go. Knees back to center with the inhale. Catch the outer edges of the feet for happy baby. Pull down on the feet, but push the feet up against the sky at the same time as you feel your low back push down into the earth. A little bit of rocking side to side if that feels good.
And gently release the feet, curl the knees into the chest with an inhale, lift the head up to the knees. Hold the breath, squeeze yourself tightly. Exhale, Shavasana. About three minutes here to sit and rest and absorb the benefits of our practice. And with the next breath in, reach the arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, knees into the chest, roll to one side. You can end practice here. You're always welcome to meet me in a comfortable seat with the hands at heart center. As we always do, we end practice with a moment of gratitude. A little bit of gratitude for the breath and the body for carrying us through some intensity this morning and hopefully leaving us with some endorphins with which we can enjoy the rest of our day. Big breath in, thumbs up to the third eye. Side out. As we bow forward in reverence to each other, together we say namaste. Thank you so much for starting your morning with me. If you did this in the morning, perhaps you did it another time that you were short on time and needed to get a quick workout in. I hope you're sweaty and hope you're feeling re-energized, revitalized. Uh, and if you are one of my patrons, I want to say thank you. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. So thank you so much for supporting my teaching and being a part of our online community. Uh, if you're not a patron yet, 
Uh, check it out. Go to patreon.com, uh, search for Nora Harris Yoga, and you can find live and on-demand yoga classes just like this one. Thank you so much. Until we meet again on the mat, namaste.